People across Metro Atlanta have expressed concerns about what's in the air and the long term health impacts of the Biolab fire. Yeah, you can see why they're really concerned about that smoky. Lemon Alive investigative reporter Rebecca Lindstrom has been asking those questions today. She joins us live now from the newsroom with what she's found out. We know the EPA has detected chlorine in the air around Biolab, but we don't know the concentration or if any other chemicals were released. The company is required to submit what is called a safety data sheet, so regulators have a better understanding of the potential impacts. We need to know the chemicals, the quantity, and in what form they were stored and released. After it was hit with water, are we tracking a powder, a liquid, or gas? In the meantime, though, if you smell something or see unusual dust or debris in your yard, don't touch it, report it. What I tell people to do after a chemical disaster is you call it in. You let somebody in an official capacity know, the county, and you call them and tell them, I found these chemicals or materials that are in my yard. I think they fell from the sky, or I have video that shows they fell from the sky, and that you don't touch them. You get officials to investigate. And if no one comes? You call again, and you call again. Today I sat down to talk with Purdue professor Andrew Welton, an expert on disasters and environmental chemistry. He spent months assessing the damage after the train derailment in East Palestine. Now, while these are very different situations, he says the need for detailed answers remains the same. The air quality might be, as they've said, fine, but the EPA and local counties doing the testing should also be able to tell us how they got to that conclusion. When residents who have been evacuated return home, he suggests calling your home insurance company if you still have concerns to see if it will pay for in-home testing of your carpet walls or even soil. And finally, he says, don't shrug off your experience. If you are feeling unwell, report it. It is important information as regulators figure out the next steps.